So the track for Even Our Favor, the short answer to that is four hours. The story behind it is that normally I, like, it could take weeks and weeks to finish a track, but this one just sat down, I had some old samples, uh, then I just started working and working on it, and then like, yeah, four hours later, it was finished. I didn't like the track that much when it was finished. Uh, then I left it for a few weeks, heard it again, and actually, wow, this is a good one. And people started to send it to some people, they started to playing it, supporting it, and yeah, the rest is history. So I think it's maybe five, four or five years ago, I started sending demos to Christian from Arm and to Dixon. And no answer in the beginning, and suddenly they started to listen to the tracks, they started to download them, they started to playing them. Uh, just very consistent, sending new tracks to them. Uh, and also maybe a little bit annoying, uh, but in the end uh, it paid off and now we're here. So I've been producing music uh, since I was around 16 years old. I've been playing music from I was a kid, but when I was around 16, yeah, I started. So that's 13 years. Uh, I think one tip for aspiring producers would be that uh, give it time, you know, because when you start producing music, you will not be super good at it. There's so much you can learn. Uh, I, th I would say give it 10 years, then you will be an amazing producer. So, to me, that's very simple. If I'm working on a track and I get bored with it, or I feel like I'm stuck, mostly I just delete it and start over. Because to me, the tracks that I've produced that I like, uh, and that have that has gained some kind of success has always been tracks that just comes to me and well I'm like working on them so I, I don't I don't like to spend time on tracks I don't like to work on so yeah the answer is delete start over uh, none I would say that I always start my track with a feeling and it can be both a feeling within a groove or a feeling within a melody or a sample or a vocal. So yeah, none of them. My favorite track with Pink Floyd must be Mother from The Wall. Uh, Barcelona. My wife. Trumpet. Uh, garlic bread. So, the short answer to that is that I play them. So, as I said, I've been playing music for many years, so I don't think too much when I try to make my melody. I just play around with different instruments. Like, this is my studio setup right now. At the moment, this differs from like month to month. Even this is a sequence. I could use that to create like weird uh, melodies and stuff. This is, I guess you know this one, just in, like a JP08, playing some melodies here. You see different VSTs playing melodies. I could even like, for example, in the track Forever in Our Favor, uh, there is this weird sounding LFO melody in the break. This is actually me whistling, you can listen here. So this is me whistling, uh, and then it's processed afterwards. So, short answer, uh, I play them. For processing, I both, both use um, stuff in the box and outside the box. I use, in the box mainly, I use some wave plugins for compression, limitations, equalizing, and then I use the uh, Sound Toys bundle for effect processing. Just like, if you know it, you would know that it's amazing, and if you don't know it, you have to buy it. It's like very affordable and it sounds amazing. Uh, outboard gear I use, for example, here I have like a Hall of Fame reverb uh, pedal, then I have down here, I have some uh, delay uh, pedals, uh, and then I use that for tracking, which means that I will send out the, the tracks from my logic, through my sound card, out through that and back in. Uh, this gives kind of an, inverse, an irreversible effect, which I really like, because when you're in the, in the DAW, you can like reverse everything, but if you have like a recorded track with effects on, there's nothing you can do to reverse it. And, of course, I also use the chaos pad. Um, I couldn't live without it. So I would say it's 50-50 uh, and depending on what kind of uh, 
music I want to use it for. So in the box I use a lot of Arturia VSTs. Uh, they sound good, they, they are like replicas of all the commercial synthesizers made through the years. Uh, for more abstract stuff, uh, again this irreversible effect, I don't, when I use outboard gear I don't like to use uh, MIDI to control, I like to play it real time because you, all these small mistakes that you can make when you play is something that gives personality and adds personality to your track. So to answer the question, it's 50-50 depending on what I want to use it for.